Hey, what is up guys? Today we're going to see how to take a screenshot in your iPhone. So I am using an iPhone 11 which is the later version of the, uh, of the iPhone. The previous version you will have a Touch ID which is not there. So the way to take a screenshot will be differ from this one and the older model. So take a screenshot, you will have to press the power button which is on the right side and the volume up button. So you can press them together. As you can see in the screen, on the bottom left corner, you have uh, the screenshotted image. So if you tap on that, you will have an option to actually, uh, you know, edit it. So well, the things that you can do is, you can actually crop it. So if you want only this much of the particular image, you can do that. So what else can you do is, you can actually annotate it. So you have different types of brushes and so you have, so if you have you can tap on it and you can choose the size of the brush and you can draw over it. So you have uh, an eraser option as well. So it will, yeah, there are two types of erasers. One is a pixel eraser and the other one is the object eraser. So basically object eraser is basically if you draw anything, it's an object. So if you use the eraser to tap on it, the that particular object will be disappeared. And another thing is that you have rulers here. You can see if you're planning to draw something, you can cut something, you can do a lot of things with this here. And there are options to add a magnifier as well. So what you can do is take a magnifier and you can place which part you want to focus. Actually, it will allow you to even change the zoom levels. So this is the minimum and you go up to the maximum. So this is one other way to do it. And the other thing, you can add a signature. So draw something, tap press on done. That part will get added here. Since it's, uh, I've done the signature in black color, it's not showing up clearly. But as you can see, you can do all this. So as after doing this, you can press on the done at the top left corner. It'll uh, give you three different options. If you can press save to photos, which will save to the iPhone gallery and save to files as you know the files the file manager for iPhone so if you don't want this uh, screenshot you can delete that as well so I'm just gonna save this so it will go to the thing. so I've already okay now so I'm opening the photos app and you can go to the recent as you can see the last one is the one the image that we actually edit so in case if you don't want to make any changes to the screenshot all you can do is you can, as soon as you click on the power button and the volume up button it will come on the bottom left corner you don't have to do anything to it you can just leave it like that so after that if you go to the photos app that particular screenshot will be there without making any changes you'll have the original screenshot here so that's about it so that's how you can take a screenshot in the iphone 11. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you.